Greetings, I'm Bill Mahana, DuPont Pioneer Nutritional Sciences Manager. I'll talk a little bit today about the nutritional value of a stressed crop like this if we harvest it for silage. First of all, it's going to be higher in fiber than what we're used to out of corn silage because of the lack of the ear development. Uh, they'll also be higher in crude protein, uh, primarily because of the nitrates that have accumulated in this plant. And it'll also be high in sugars because there's nowhere really for the photosynthetic material to go because we lack really a, a sink in the kernels. So it's going to be fairly high feeding value. Uh, most estimates are anywhere from 60 to 75 percent of the feeding value of normal silage. The issue is we just don't have as much tonnage. And the way the uh, energy is partitioned is going to be different, more from the digestible fiber and less from the lack of starch. The good news with all the uh, drought that we've had, the lack of water, is that typically that will give us higher than average fiber digestibility. The issue will just be, again, lack of tonnage, so we want to try to harvest as much as we can. In that regard, some people talk about higher, chopping it higher so that we reduce the nitrate load. The nitrates tend to accumulate in the lower portion of the plant. Um, we need feed though, so if you, the best approach is to test the plant, uh, maybe at different chop heights and see what the nitrate level is. We do know that in siling we'll reduce the nitrate load by about 40 to 60 percent. So uh, baling will not uh, do it, that's why we really like to see people harvest this as silage. Uh, again, get it nitrate tested, um, and even if it came back after the test, uh, after it had been fermented at say 2,000 parts per million, you can still feed upwards of half of the entire ration as this feed stuff at that level. So in summary, when we harvest this, we want to make sure we get it dry enough. Uh, we want to be sure that we use an inoculant on this. Uh, we were recommending Pioneer brand 11C33 or 11CFT because of the high yeast load we're going to have on this, the high sugar. We want to preserve this feeding value, primarily coming from the stover, and we can help do that with inoculants. And again, finally, we want to test it frequently because it's going to be quite a variable crop, as you can see.